Welcome, gentlemen. 2018, another year. I want to touch on the subject of the importance between driver engineer, engineer driver. It is an important relationship, isn't it? Yeah, I think driver comes first, yeah, before engineer. Dri driver yeah. always comes <laughs> first, you know. Oh, yeah, extremely. I think um, a lot of people probably over the last couple of years realised that the driver-engineer relationship is, is everything, you know. You've got to obviously click together and um, you've got to have an engineer that understands what the driver's talking about and, and probably understand the driver better than the driver understands himself because uh, so there's a lot of times we come in flustered and not know what we're talking about and, and he has to look at the squiggly lines and, and work out how, um, how he's going to make me go faster. What's he like to work with, Adam? It's not too bad. It gets a bit temperamental every now and then, but uh, you know, it's uh, he knows the big picture. You know, understands the plan when we go into a session, and even though we might not be at the top at the end of the session, he uh, knows what we're trying to achieve. You know, so when it counts, as long as we're quick, it's all good. But how do you control that during the race? Starting to lose it or get aggravated or whatever, or how do you, how do you calm that situation down? You kind of just got to watch really watch the race and understand you know the circumstance that you're in you know and, and that's when you need to chirp up on the radio and say hey you know don't worry about this we're not actually worried about this guy you know we need to worry about this guy and if that all comes with experience like it's taken us you know years to develop that kind of relationship where I can see a potential hazard and try to pre-warn Chaz of that so there's normally three a lap I think <laughs> <laughs> yeah I've seen you in action mate you almost I've always said it's like a, a second wife you know the relationship between the two except without the kissing and cuddling bit what well, not that's less, not not that's not not that's not 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 uh, you know, one idea's come to my head that I need to chat to him about and, and vice versa. So sometimes it does feel like this racing life kind of takes over family life a little bit. So in 2016, you had a bit of a sabbatical and, and sort of went away from the sport a little bit and then came back actually with DJ Penske for a few races during that year too when they when they first formed up. Yeah, that whole experience, yeah, it was, was great. It was, it was good and learn a lot about their process and their protocol and working with Scott. And uh, you know, come back and obviously last year worked with Chaz and you know we always had a we maintained a friendship even though we weren't working together throughout that year. So it was it wasn't hard to slot back into a groove. It was just you know we just had to work on a direction that we wanted to take the car last year and, and that's what we did. Good to get him back though because when he came back, the results lifted. Yeah, exactly. The results came, but he didn't really go into that question too much there. Even though he says we were still friends, it was like it was like a competitive friendship. So we actually had like a Chaz and Debore Cup going in that year, and who could get more pole positions or more podiums? So uh, yeah, he had to strike first. But um, you know, it's fantastic to have him back. It, like it's like I said, it's so massive with this driver engineer uh, relationship to get the most out of yourself. Hey, does he know anything about the race car? Because I'll tell you, some of these drivers wouldn't know whether the engine's in the front or the back. They're dumb as doorknobs. Does he know a bit of mechanically about the car? No, it's been good. He's good. Like, we educate, you know, you know how I work. We can, you know, I want the driver to be part of the solution. So by understanding, by educating him about what we're trying to achieve and what we're trying to do, he, he's obviously picking up, picking up, picking up, and he's, he's great now, like, awesome now. A bit green when we started, but now he's, now he's good. So get your hands dirty. You I know, you know a, about the car. still have a few green moments here and there, but uh, the good thing about Adam, he actually sometimes pulls out the old pop-up picture book, you know, instead of just explaining all the fancy terms, he'll get a piece of A4 paper out and draw the squiggly line and go, this is where we are and this is where we want to be, and, and it's good for someone to take the time to actually explain what's going down because you can only build on those experiences and, uh, and obviously get the step up next time you're going to do something similar. So you're going to keep him? Keep him around? Oh, look, he's asking for a bit too much money at the moment, but, you know, we'll, uh, I, think, I think I couldn't do this without him. So, I'm, yeah, for, for as long as I can do it and he'll, he's willing to do it, I want to do it as well. Chaz Mostert, Adam Debore, the perfect match. Russell, why are you crying? <laughs> oh, that, that's oh, the list. That's I funny. List I, think that was, I think that was a great insight. Start list, uh, right? Big shout-out to all the drivers out there. What? They're as dumb as doorknobs. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> maybe a little, maybe they a don't little bit harsh. Maybe a 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 Oh, well, some of them. Well, you, well, you, okay. you reckon oh, all no. are engineering geniuses? Oh, this, there is. Seriously, this honestly. Is list, look, he's created his list by this, Kofi. Honestly, do you think a lot of the drivers <laughs> are engineering geniuses? <laughs> they should be. I know they should, that's what uh, the point was. They should be. Uh, they convey the feeling of the car back to the engineer. <laughs> right. I sorry, don't folks. think you're going to get <laughs> sorry, yourself folks. out of that one somehow. Sorry. Wow. Anyway, it was a really insightful <sighs> chat between those two. Adam Debore <laughs> is so good at what he does and it was really obvious to see the improvement uh, that he brought back with Chaz once he was back in that hot seat with him. Straighten up, Mark. Oh, well, it's just <laughs> classic. They do, they do have a very good connection and it, it's not always you know like that with a lot of guys they just don't get that connection it's he's got this ability and I worked with him and it was the same he just had this ability to really delve into what your psyche was about what you needed to drive a car and he, he's got that going with Chaz and it's uh, you can it's it's so seamless it's very seamless yeah. almost unwritten and unspoken I should say most of the time oh he's very keen too isn't he he loves racing Adam loves racing he is a racer. and you've got to have someone that's a racer that's yeah. that's on your side it was a really interesting point he, he made too about keeping the big picture throughout the year and I, you, it's easy to see coming to a place like this where everyone's had to wait such a long time to get back in the driver's seat and get it all back underway for some of them to get a bit frustrated with it not coming on so quickly so to have somebody on your team who can keep that big picture very much uh, in the frame for the the whole time is is a really key part of it it is well they end up sort of working like a sports psychologist in some ways just so it's not just the engineering it's actually coaxing you through the race and understanding after you know you get out of the car trying to fix the dramas i mean imagine trying to be his engineer through the course of his life coach. that would have been coach. Uh? Oh, imagine that I've been, imagine through, that. I've been through a few imagine of my all time the, length of the time you'd spend on a chesterfield just rocking <laughs> in, the, in the fetal position in the going, corner. Oh, how can I help this bloke? Okay, this oh segment's my. over. About the post in I'm going to let you all go because you're all oh crying. Okay, God. it's enough. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you need to just go and sort yourselves out. We will. Yeah. Quiet but chat. Thank you for we'll being such good sports. It's been it. a lot of fun. <laughs>